Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I figured I would sit down and do a video on like my favorite summer products that I've been loving uh, all summer long. I feel like I've tried a million or 10 different products and these are the ones that have stuck out to me. What's the reason? What's the reason? Not the Hopper app. Child anyways. Um, and I just love them. There are some glosses in here that I felt like I haven't like picked out of my own stash for a hot minute. So I want to talk about those. Um, just like all kinds of good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, dokey. So let's start off with this blush. I love blush. If you've watched my channel before or my TikToks or anything like that, you know I'm a big blush girl. One of my all-time favorites. I was going to show it in this video, so just pretend like I am showing it. It is the Benefit Blush in the shade Krista. It's absolutely stunning. Like, offensively stunning. But mine shattered everywhere. Like, shattered to the point of it's not able to be repaired literally right after I bought it. And those blushes aren't cheap. Um... But nevertheless, so my other favorite that I literally just discovered, and if you watch mine and Brielle's video, if you haven't, go watch that. This is a bag of trash. I'm a bag of trash for leaving it there. Ciao, anyways. Um, if you watched our video, we used this blush, and the second that I put it on, I've made a TikTok about this, it just changes everything. It makes your face look like professional like it makes your makeup look more professional I swear it is absolutely phenomenal I used it today I feel like my face looks just really nice like the makeup just looks good you know what I mean uh it's flattering it's pretty I love it so this is the rare beauty blush sorry I didn't even say it this is the rare beauty blush why is this not focusing I'm so confused anyway rare beauty blush in the shade happy it is a beautiful 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 pink shade it's a combination in my opinion of a neutral and warm pink and cool. I guess it's just, I guess it's neutral because it's a little bit of both. But it's a beautiful pink shade and it goes on wonderfully. It makes your makeup look like you got it professionally done every time you wear it. It's just stunning and I feel like it's so flattering on every skin tone. Whether you have the palest of pale skin or the darkest of dark skin, you can make this blush work for you. You can build it up, you can wear it sheer, etc. It's just gorgeous, but this shade specifically is wonderful. How I like to use it is I take some out. It's obviously got this little like paddle applicator and I put it on the back of my hand. You can see where I did it earlier today. And then I take my e.l.f. Duo Complexion. Where's my brush at? Here it is. The e.l.f. Duo Complexion uh, brush and I stamp it in and then I just put it on my cheeks and I kind of go in like a C motion like this and that's just how I do mine um, and I feel like it looks wonderful. And then you can set it down obviously if you want to, but that's that. So, let's hop into some glosses. These are my Fawn Beauty, my personal collection of Fawn Beauty glosses that I uh, use. That's so loud. This is the gloss I'm wearing all the time. It's what I have on my lips right now. It is the Fawn Beauty Recovery and Glow Lip Oil. Um, this is in the shade That's Amazing. This is the original one that I came out with. I just wanted to create like a milky pink shade because I feel like that shade is universally flattering. And it looks good on everyone. But also, it makes your lips look really plump and hydrated. Every time I wear it, people ask me about it. I mean, come on. Like, it takes away the fine lines in your lips. It makes your lips look plump and healthy and juicy and supple and all the things. It feels amazing. It smells amazing. Um, if I had to pick favorite kids, she'd probably be my favorite kid. But anyways, we don't pick favorites. Another one that I've been loving is Sweater Weather. Anyway, here's Sweater Weather. It was a, um, if you picked this up, actually, whenever it came out, this was a limited edition shade from the fall collection, fall collection of last year. But everybody was like, don't you dare get rid of it because it's stunning. Um, so I'll swatch it for you guys. This is just a really flattering shade on everybody. It's like the perfect mauve. Um, it's gorgeous. Everyone loves this shade. It's one of the best sellers for a good reason. Um, it just is really pretty. And it looks good on everybody's skin tone. It's it's beautiful. So that one I've been loving. I've also been wearing, where is it at? Sugar Plum Princess a whole lot. Sugar Plum Princess was again, it was from the winter collection, the fall or the, um, yeah, the winter collection from last year. It is to me like the literal shade of Sugar Plum Princess. It is just a beautiful, why is this not? There we go. Now you can see better. It's like not frosty at all. It's not like a frosty shade. It's just got that beautiful like pink and purple shimmer, but in the most wearable way. People love this one, but it's harder to like get people to try it. I'm like, you need to try Sugar Plum Princess because it's so pretty um, that people are more so interested in like the more neutrals. I have on, or I wore today earlier in the video, a staple and everybody on TikTok was asking me um, about this shade. 
So this is a staple. This one's the one that's like um, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And if you've never watched my videos before, um, just for reference, this is a staple. So this is like the best neutral pink uh, shade that looks good on everyone. Um, it's stunning. But anyway, if you've never watched my channel before or don't know about Fawn Beauty, the glosses are serum glosses. So it's a lip serum and a gloss mixed. They're really lightweight on the lips. Um, they have coconut oil, shea butter, apricot kernel oil, just a ton of really hydrating ingredients in them. Um, and they feel amazing on the lips. But anyway, those are the shades I've been loving personally. Now let's move on to some other things. One thing I've been loving is I actually worked with Dibs on, on a, a video with this for TikTok and I love it. I've been using it so much on my eyes too. This is their, um, gosh, what's this called? Desert, no. What is this called? Their status stick? I think this is called their status stick. Mine's in the shade Unbothered Bronze. Do I want to put this on my body? Yeah, I'll put it on my body. Um, you're supposed to use it like on your body or you can use it on your face. I've been using it on my eyes. Um, but it just gives you like that glow and it like rubs in and it smells so good. It smells like a brown sugar cookie. If you've ever had one of those. Oh, I just dropped the thing. But anyways, it's really pretty and uh, I just love it. I love it because I feel like it's multi-purpose. I feel like a lot of Dibs products are multi-purpose and it's easy to blend in and stunning. But I like to use it on my body and I like to use it on my eyes. I used it on my eyes the other day and it just is gorgeous and you can set it with a powder so it stays for a longer time i actually wore it to a wedding um but this is really pretty like i said unbothered bronze from dibs beauty stunning we love her little shoulder highlight little decollete highlight little little bit on the eyes stunning my next product is the hollywood flawless filter which everybody's like oh hi you know everybody already knows about the hollywood flawless filter as a bronzer though as a bronzer uh, I have mine in the shade 7. My usual shade, I really don't know because I used this today and it was a lot. Like, I put it on my face and I was like, mm, that's a little bit too light for me. Um, but this was in the shade 5 and then this is the shade 7. But I use this as a bronzer and have been loving, loving that. So, if you guys want a tutorial on how I do that, um, let me know and I can def do it. Um, but, yeah, there's that. I'm looking at my um, TikTok comments. TikTok has been wild and out for me she's not been given the uh the attention that she needs to be gave but anyway stunning product love using that um this other this is gonna be like you're gonna be like katie honestly do you feel like that's necessary and i'd be lying if i said no because i do think it's necessary this shade specifically this shade this is the easy eye palette for the charlotte darling look from charlotte tilbury um, but specifically this shade is stunning. It's what I have on my inner corners today. And I feel like it catches the light. Oh, and also up here. I feel like it just catches the light beautifully and looks really beautiful on. And so not necessarily just this specific shade, but a shade like this, that is something you can pop on your inner corners, make your eyes look a little bit brighter. I think it's just really flattering. So do you need this whole palette? No, you don't. But if you like the shades in the palette, oh my gosh then the palette's stunning. And I would say get it because her shadows blend like a dream. But this shade is just stunning. So there's that. Um, what else? I know that I have talked about this to death. It's literally like beating a dead horse. The Dior No Powder Powder in the shade 5N. Um, she has been through some things. She's seen some things. She's been to war and back. But as a bronzer, I cannot put this down. I have not used another bronzer since I got this to use as a bronzer and I love it um what else I had so many things to talk about and I literally just forgot like everything oh here we go I have some skincare up next I guess we'll start out with this this is the SPF from CeraVe CeraVe whatever this is the uh facial moisturizing lotion with sunscreen it has broad spectrum SPF 30 now I've been on this whole big journey I've been telling you guys on here about um using non-pore clogging ingredients in my for like my skin, whether it's makeup, skincare, whatever it is. And so I've been really, really focused on that because I have had struggles with acne in the past and more so now texture. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I have a few little texture bumps over here, which is really annoying. Like it's just annoying because I'm like, I take such good care of my skin, why is this happening? But anyway, this uh, does leave a little bit of a white cast, but nothing, nothing awful. It's a really good price. I mix it with my deep bronzy drops. Like I'll put this on and then put my deep bronzy drops over it because apparently you're not supposed to mix your sunscreen with things. I don't know if that can be confirmed nor denied. People on YouTube in the comment section love nothing more than to act like they are board certified dermatologists um, and that they are scientists and researchers that spend their life work um, 
you know, looking these things up and then telling me that I'm wrong for doing it. But anyways, we'll get past that. Anyway, child, um, it's a good moisturizer and it's a really good SPF if you are in the market for one and want one that is non-pore clogging, non-comedogenic, acne safe, etc. And it's inexpensive as well. So, moving on. Uh, I got these two products from Kennedy, which is my esthetician. This is, these are the Face Reality products. I'm not sure if you can order these on her website. If you can't, then you can message her and be able to order them. Um, but they did indeed change my life. The first one is this Face Reality Mandelic, 8% Mandelic um, Serum. And then the second one is this Face Reality Hydro Balance um, Gel. So basically what this one is, is a chemical exfoliant that is antimicrobial, antifungal, etc. And it is stunning. Um, I love it a whole lot and I feel like it's helped my skin a whole lot. I use it in the morning and in the evening. Um, basically it just helps with texture, pores, etc. that whole sort of thing. And then the Hydra Balance is just a balancing gel. So for somebody who struggles with acne and texture like myself, you still want to keep your skin really hydrated, especially when you are using chemical exfoliants. So I've been loving to use this right before my moisturizer. It's just convenient. Um, it has really calming ingredients in it and I can tell a difference in like the overall health and like plumpness and glowiness of my skin whenever I'm using it. Um, this is my second week of using these products, like my second full week. Uh, and I really love them and I haven't had any new breakouts. Thank God. Uh, like I said, I have struggled with texture, not so much on this side, but more so on this side now. And I'm beginning to wonder if it's my pillowcases. And I know everybody's like, oh, change your pillowcases like every night. But honestly, that's just not ideal. Like I can't change them every night. I don't know though. Maybe I'm gonna have to. Anyways though, I love these. And the other skincare product that I feel like, I told Brielle the other day, we were in shopping in Sephora in Alpharetta, Georgia. And um, I was like, listen, I bought this solely because Tati. And like, it's so unlike me to buy a product like this. Like, it's just not me. But when I tell you that I have noticed the biggest difference in my skin when using this, and I've used it for a few months now, it is the Ula Henriksen. Uh, their, their skincare just works really good for my skin. I love, love, love Ula Henriksen. But it's the Ula Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Come on now. This is it. It is stunning. Um, I have gone through a good portion of this. I don't know if you're able to see, but I have a little bit less than half um, left in here. And it's weird because to me, it's not really a moisture. I mean, it is a moisturizer, but it's more so a pressed serum. So whenever I put this on, like my skin feels locked in, hydrated and supple, smooth, all the things. But my biggest thing is when I don't use this, I notice a difference in my skin. My skin looks more dull. I was beginning to get fine lines in my forehead at the age of 23. Okay. I was beginning to get fine lines in my forehead and I do not no longer have any fine lines. I use it under my eyes and I feel like my under eyes look even more youthful um, than they did. I feel like my overall skin looks healthier. Now, here's the thing about this product. It does have pore clogging ingredients in it. If I use it on my lower half of my face right here, it's not that I get active breakouts, but I get more texture as in clogged pores, clogged comedones, etc. So I try to avoid that area of my face. I get a little bit out on my finger. I warm it up in my palm or in my fingers because you do have to. Like I said, it's a pressed serum sort of formula. And I put it on my forehead. I put it around my eyes. I put it on my chin and up. But pretty much this area right here where I'm prone to breakouts on both sides, I don't put that moisturizer anywhere. Um... I got a stretch, <laughs> but I love it. And I feel like it makes a huge difference. And it also smells so nice. And I like to go to bed smelling good and like looking like a glazed donut. You know what I mean? Am I Haley Bieber? Probably so. I don't know. Try anyways. So there's that. Are there any more? Oh, yeah. I also just started using this. I kind of got over my brow routine and was like, bro, I'm so sick and tired of trying to do my eyebrows with a, with a daggum brow pencil. So I picked this up. It's the ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. Um, I picked this up and I use it on my angled brush from the Morphe and Ariel collection. Literally any small like angled brush will suffice. Like it'll be great. Don't worry about it. But um, that's what I've been using in my brows instead of like my pencil all the way. Because I feel like it just makes, makes it look more natural. And like, I don't know. I don't know. I just like it, you know, and I feel like I'm not going to run out of this for a hundred years. Um, I just like it. So that's that. But those are all the products I've been loving this summer that I feel like I haven't given enough attention to or really no attention to, to be honest with you. So I wanted to talk about them, shed a little light on them because those are products that I have been loving. Um, yeah, so that's it pretty much. If I can think of anything else that I'm like, oh man, I've been using that recently and I haven't really talked about it. Um, then I can leave that down in the comments below. 
or then down in the description box below. So make sure to check that. Also, all the products will be linked there um, if you want to purchase any of these. But let me know in the comments what you've been loving this summer that you feel like you've kind of neglected because I think that's kind of what I've done in this video is I really haven't talked about these products, but I use them all the time. So why would I not? I need to let the people know. I need to not gatekeep etc. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And other than that, I hope you have a fabulous day.